Okay, I think we are, yep. We are recording. Let me just make sure I see record. Yep, we're recording, okay. Welcome, welcome Team Relentless. Today is Sunday, August 12, 2018. We're having a Team Relentless meeting right now and I am recording. So I will be posting this replay. Hello, hello, replay viewers. Sorry you missed it live, but hey, nothing wrong with replaying and watching it all over again and again and again. Tonight, oh my gosh, you folks, I am so, so excited. So on my post for Team Relentless, I, I wrote, do you want to succeed in Color Street? Gosh, when I see a question like that, my hand goes straight up. Yes, I want to succeed at Color Street. So tonight, what my topic is all about is how you and I will succeed at Color Street. So I'm so fired up tonight. You know, whenever I do um, any kind of teaching or training, I always start off the same way. So I'm going to give it to you, and you guys are going to get so used to it. So on the count of three, when I say, okay, you're not going to do it, just just hold off okay and you're gonna have to unmute your computer if you want me to hear you if you don't want me to hear you just you know pretend like you're um you know doing the motion and saying it you know out loud or whatever because sometimes you folks are watching like you know in the middle of like a family get together or whatever it might be and it's like kind of quiet but i'm gonna say on the count of three okay this is how i do my opening get ready get ready get ready and when i say are you ready you're gonna go yeah you know, like you're all at the football game, right? But I want you to just like let out your excitement, let out what you feel inside about your color street business. Because I know when you guys go to football games, sports, you know, games, whatever it might be, and you're rooting for your favorite team, you guys are not like, yay, go team, go. No, I don't think so. I know you guys are like, yeah, go, you know, whatever team your team is. I don't have a team. So I just like, go UH, okay, whatever. But your excitement and your passion comes out, right? So that's what I want you to do. When I say get ready, get ready, get ready. Are you ready? Then you go, yes. Sometimes, I don't know about you, but when my day is kind of hectic and crazy and blah, all over the place, and it's like, oh my gosh, I just had a day. Sometimes I just go where I can, sometimes even in the bathroom, <laughs> and I go, ah, like you just scream it out, like just get out that frustration, right? I don't know if you, does anybody do that? Like raise your hand, or am I the, or am I the only crazy person that has to do that sometimes? Well, I do. Sometimes it's like, I had no control over what happened, you know, some things happened that, you know, I didn't want to go that way, and sometimes it's just like, oh, you know, sometimes you just have to do that. So what I want, to, want you to do when you're with me, when I say, when I say, are you ready? Then you're going to go, yes. Okay. If you're like in a place where you can't make too much noise, just make like a motion. Go <laughs> pretend like you're fired up. Okay. Okay. So let's, let's try this. We're going to practice and then we're going to do it for real. Okay. Then I don't have to do this again on the recording. Cause when I start my meeting, I'm just going to say, are you ready? And then you guys going to go. Okay. So get ready, get ready, get ready. Team Relentless. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, you got it. I'm not going to scream because um, I'll scream a little, but you know what I mean, right? If I was listening to myself, I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> okay, get ready, get ready, get ready. Team Relentless, are you ready? Yes. You guys got to show it excitement. How to be successful in Color Street. Number one, you got to be passionate. You gotta be excited about your business. If you're not gonna get excited about your business, who is going to? Who will be excited, right? You gotta bring people along with you. People are so attracted to positivity. People are so excited to people that are interesting, excited, happy, okay? So you have to be that person for your business. You have to be that person for your team members, for your downline, because you folks are all gonna have huge, huge organizations if you want to, but you have to first, number one, be passionate, okay? And what I mean about passionate is when you're excited about something, when you love something, you're going to show it. For example, I love my husband. I love my children. I love my family, right? We talked about family, occupation, recreation, message, remember form. Well, I love my family. And how do I express that? How do I share with others that I'm passionate? I talk about them all the time. I brag about them in the sense that I'm so proud of their accomplishments or I'm proud of what they've done. 
that's how I show passion is I will talk about it over and over and over. I'm excited about it. I love to bring it up as a topic and a subject to talk about, right? That's how you be passionate of anything. Let's say you um, have a favorite song, right? Maybe your favorite song makes you cry. Maybe your favorite song gets you fired up, excited. You're like ready to tackle the day. That's what you call passion. You've got to develop a passion for your color street business. For you folks, I know, you know, I'm passionate about color street, right? Nod your head if you know that. Okay, anybody that's around me right now in my life knows that I'm all about color street. I'm all about building my business. They know what I do. They know that I have a color street business and that I am doing nails. I'm selling nail polish, okay? That's because for me, in conversation, I share what I have passion for. And my, I'm very passionate about my business side of my, my life, you know, my family and everything. My occupation, I'm passionate about College Street. I'm passionate about the business. I'm passionate about the product. And I'm very, 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 very open about talking about it, okay? Um, just to give you an example. I went to Target today because I needed to go get a few things for my son. I talked to the two gals at the dressing room, and um, there's like it's kind of like a congregating place where they, all, you know, the, the ladies get together and have to put away things. So I left them two other um, samples to give to the other gals that walked away. But I got two of the girls super excited, like, "Really? What is this? Oh my gosh! It sounds cool. I love to do my nails." Okay. I did that when um, I was waiting for my son to try on his clothing, his pants, right? And then I go to the food section and I saw an old high school classmate of mine that I knew very well. And I said, hey girl, what you up to? Had a conversation there. I gave her and her daughters some samples. I'm going to follow up with them. Fired up, right? I mean, I just go to Target. I'm like, I got rid of like, I think like eight samples, I love my business. You have to say that. Say that with me. I love my business. I love my business. When you wake up in the morning and you feel sluggish, like, oh my gosh, I got to go to the job. Or, oh my gosh, I got to do this chore. Or, I got to do this errand. Tell yourself, I love my job. You are going to love what you do. Your job is not going to a, a job place, but your job is to be the best version of you. That's what your job is every day. That's the job that you go to every day, to be the best version of you. That's my number two. Be the best version of you. You've got to show up. You. It's your business that you want people to be excited about. Not mine, not Katie Harbison's, not all the other successful business owners in Color Street. You want them to love your business. Okay, so you love your business and you're going to share that with other people. Why? Because they're going to get to know you. They're going to get to know how you run your business, how you treat your biz business. So be the best version of you. Okay, I always say that, be the best version of you. I have it right here on my desk. I'm always looking at it. And what that means is I am going to be me. I am going to only be me. I'm not going to compare myself with someone else. I'm not going to compare my business with another person's business. I'm not going to even compare my goals with someone else's goals. I'm going to be the best version of me. What does that mean? Well, where are you at? What are your likes, your dislikes? What are your hobbies? What makes you happy? Who's in your life? Okay, you're going to look at all the things around you that create your life and what makes you the best version of you. Example, I'm a glamour. I love, love, love Zayden. Oh my gosh, like I cannot stop giving him hugs and kisses. I love holding on to him. I love playing with him. I love my grandson, right? The, be the best version of me is to be the best glamour that I possibly can be for my grandson. So I take care of him. I spend time with him. I'm in the moment with I'm, when I'm with him, not on my phone, like, okay, yeah, he's okay. But I'm in the moment and I'm being the best, whatever that might be. Some of you are going to build Color Street while you're working your job. Your physical, like you have to go somewhere and go to a job, whether it might be, you know, babysitting or working at a, a business place, you're going to have to build Color Street side by side with something else. But what does be the best version of you mean in that situation? Well, it means if you're going to be babysitting, 
babysit, love on them, do the best, have fun, right? When you're in the moment, when you have to go to a business place, show up, show up on time, do your best at your workplace, have the best attitude in the workplace, be the most positive person at the workplace, be the best version of you. Let them see how excited you are about life, how passionate you are about your business, because people will notice, they'll be like, why are you so happy? Like, I'm not happy working here, you know? And you're going to share that with others because people will see and be attracted to you, okay? And you want them to because that's how we make lots of friends. I, I'll always bring up the quote, make lots of friends, okay? Because you know why? When you make friends, you can sell them anything. Make lots of friends. That's how you get out there and have lots of people to talk to you when you're out and about. When I um, go somewhere, oh, I, I also bumped into, I forgot to tell you, at another place that I went to, I bumped into another um, high school classmate and her sister, um, and she, she bought Color Street from me, but she came flat out and said, Shell, I don't know how to put it on. I know you told me it's easy and you showed me and everything, but I really don't know how to do this. I said, girl, no worries. Let's get together and I will show you right? A great, great follow-up. I'm going to get to see her, right? In person, talk story, catch up. Make sure, and then when she's done, she'll go home with fabulous nails. So whatever it takes, be the best version of you. You have to show up, okay? You, only you. There's no other person like you. Thank goodness, because you know why? We just need you, but we need you to be the best version so you can go out there and bless others and, and be a light to people, encourage people throughout their day. I want you to get on a personal development journey with me. I didn't get where I'm at today just because I woke up and decided to be fired up. No, it took a lot of work over the years. It took a lot of self-development. It took a lot of reading of lots and lots of books, you folks. I have read a lot of books over the years, and I'm not stopping. Whenever I see another book, oh my gosh, let me pick it up and let me start reading. I'm all about learning to be the best version of me. I'm all about learning more about my business, more about how to communicate with my customer, with my team. Okay, so the next one, I think, what are we on? Number three, be a learn it all. Okay, learn as much as you can. Be in Color Street University with me. And what I mean by that is pick up a personal development book. I, I encourage you folks to, get, to go and get the Eric Worre GoPro book. Did you do it yet? Did you do it? Where's my book? Oh, gosh. Okay, I forgot my book in the room because I was reading it. Um, but go and get that book. This is my advice to you. We're going to get to the top of Color Street. We are going to succeed at Color Street, but there's certain things that we need to do to get there. It's not just going to happen because Color Street is a really amazing business and you're amazing too. It's not going to just happen. I promise you, it takes work. It will take work to sell your Color Street. It will take work to train and teach your team to be successful, but it's going to be so worth it. Do you think Katie Harbison wakes up on her vacation, which she was on, do you think she wakes up and goes, oh man, I regret all that time I put into my team. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I had to sell Color Street when I was tired. No, oh my gosh, she goes, she's like six figures plus. She is one, she's going to be one rich gal one day because Color Street is only going to grow. And so will her paycheck. You and I can be the next Katie Harbison. Why? Because the opportunity is the same opportunity. The same compensation plan that she works by is the same one that you and I work by. Nothing changes, nothing. She signed up the same way. She signed up on a link, just like we did. We have a sponsor. We have a family tree. Our family tree goes all the way up to Mr. Fa Park, the owner and CEO of Color Street. We all have the same opportunity. But what's gonna make a difference is number one, remember my number one, it's you. It's you. you got to be passionate. you got to show up. you got to learn as much as you can. This is a journey. Um, I, I like to always remind myself that this is not a sprint. Okay, this is not one of those, you know, 50-yard dashes. And they say, yes, I'm done. No, it's not. 
This is going to be a marathon, you folks. I hope you look forward to being on this marathon with me. I don't want it to be a sprint. I'm fired up, excited, and then, whoa, what happened to the business? It's gone. Uh-uh. I want to be on a marathon. I want to train like a marathon runner. I want to put in the time to make the long distance easier for myself. I don't want it to be painful. I don't want blisters. I don't want to be exhausted and tired and, you know, oh my gosh, where's the water? I'm dehydrated. No. I want to run this race with you folks and be on this journey, be on this path of Color Street with you, but for the long term. I want my Color Street business to thrive and I want to get paid and generations and generations will benefit from my work that I put in today. That's why network marketing and what we do in direct sales, that's why it's so powerful and so wonderful. You guys, this is very different from having a job. This is very different from getting a, a degree from a school or a college. And don't get me wrong, I, I, love, I love being an educator. I love the fact that you know I went to school, I set a goal, and I do have a um, bachelor's degree from University of Hawaii. I'm very proud of that. But I will tell you this much. Getting into this business has allowed me to use my gifts, my talents, and to give back to Hawaii and to, you know, the, the nation. And hopefully, you know, soon, Color Street will go international and I will be able to share with the world, literally the world about my Color Street business and about what it takes to be a better person. So I'm not sure if you're ready for that, but to be successful in Color Street, you have to come to the realization that this is not a sprint. This is not one of those 50 yard dashes, you folks. We are preparing for the long term. I want you folks to have a color street business that is successful for one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, six years. I want you folks to feel that this business is so profitable that your, your um, generations beyond you can even think will, be, will benefit from it. Why? Because you're building it today. You are in the best place, in the best vehicle, at the best time. And the reason I say that is because Color Street just made one year old. Just one, you guys. Like, we don't even have somebody at the top rank yet of the business. We don't have a Diamond National Executive yet. We're gonna, but we don't have one yet. That tells me that there's opportunity in what we're doing. It tells me that, wow, if Katie Harbison, in our up, up line, who loves to teach and to train and share secrets and tips and is available. You folks, I promise you, if you ever got on the phone and call Katie Harbison up on the phone, guess what? She would pick up your call. Isn't that amazing? Like that's how this works. We have an upline that is successful and we can call upon them for information. This whole week, Katie Harbison was on vacation, but what she did in her absence is she asked her team leaders, you know, they were like executives, senior executives, to share, share their journey, share their experience, share their tips on a certain subject. If you did not listen to any of those, I highly recommend you go back and listen. Get a notebook whenever you're tuning into one of those team videos, or even the videos that I put on our team page, get out a notebook. Mine says business notes. And I have a tab here. Um, I don't know if you can see, it says Color Street. Because sometimes I listen to videos like, you know, Denzel Washington or Jim Rohn or Oprah Winfrey, the one I just put on there, Eric Worre, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Tony Robbins, right? Um, I take lots and lots and lots of notes. But this week in the team Fancy Fingers, and you can go ahead and um, access all of those videos because you can um, watch replays on them. It's in the team page and I posted a few of them. I'm sorry I didn't post all of them, but um, you can go back and watch it. You guys, I took so much notes. Look at all the notes I've been taking. I've been taking notes and notes and notes. I mean, there's so much information in those Team Fancy Fingers videos. There's so much information that Katie Harbison puts in her videos and her posts in Team Fancy Fingers. You folks, I hope you're looking at Team Relentless and Team Fancy Fingers. Team Relentless, Team Fancy Fingers. Why? Team Relentless is current for our, our team, what's going with, uh, with me and our team. And then you want to tap into Team Fancy Fingers because she is Katie Harbison. That's Katie Harbison's team page. You want to keep up because she's right there below the company. The company tells her things right away. So it filters to us 
right away as well too. So you wanna tap in to the information that comes from the top and that's Katie Harpison. So tune into the Team Fancy Fingers. That's why I'm always referring to Team Fancy Fingers. Of course, I love, love, love our other upline, but I'm just saying um, for all that firsthand information and, and training, go to Team Fancy Fingers. Um, for those of you that are having a little difficulty with the team tree, not to worry, I am putting it in a document I'm gonna have all our um, team tree and upline and all of that um, in our team page um, very shortly. But I just wanted to share with you folks that I want you to always, always, always be a learn it all. Learn all you can. Get that GoPro book by Eric Worre. You guys, I can reread and reread that book and I get so much information over and over. To me, that has been like my starting point for the actual training of the business, being a professional network marketer. It's a total shift in your mindset. It's a total shift in what you do on a day-to-day -day basis because it's something different. I have never been um, in the direct sell industry until two years ago. So I've learned so much in a short time, but that's because I plug away. I listen to lots of videos. I read lots of books. I read different kinds of books. And I get that knowledge. I apply some of them is like way over my head and it doesn't apply to where I'm at in my journey. And it's okay. Sometimes it, you have to go back to something and uh, oh yeah, now it makes more sense. You know, sometimes you have to do that. Like for example, when I read that Eric Worre book now, oh my gosh, I get like a different golden nugget out of the, 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 the certain chapter now. Whereas the first time I read it, it was like, hmm. Yeah, that is true. Oh my gosh, yes, I totally get what he's saying. You know, now it's kind of like I'm thinking at it in a different level. So I encourage you, get on this journey with me. We're all in this personal development. I hear speakers over and over and over share how they're successful. And you know what they say? They had to improve themselves. They had to change the way they think. They had to change the way they spoke. And how they did that is they needed to put in better stuff, healthier stuff, um, valuable information. They had to put new knowledge into their brains so that they understood how to do certain things. So I encourage you, Go out there and learn what you can. If you folks are lacking in, um, for example, communication, pick up a, a book or watch a video. You can go to YouTube and, um, you know, kind of search um, best communication, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Best communication speech or something like that, okay? Um, I remember one time I really did do that. I searched um, best communication and I started watching um, different speakers. Like they had this contest and so different speakers would do like their five minute speech. And just to see the variety of how people deliver their message, I was like, wow, you know, some are storytellers, some are like, you know, they got to write on a board, number one, number two, number three, but just different ways of delivery. I was like, oh, okay, which one am I, <laughs> you know? And um, so I watched that. I, I just kind of like wherever I'm at, I try to go there and focus on being better in that area. I remember um, when I first started building a team, I wanted to learn how to be a better leader. And so I picked up a book um, from Simon Sinek and it was Your Why. And it talked about if you're gonna be a leader, you've gotta know your why. You've gotta know why you do what you do, right? If you don't know why you do what you do, what makes you think you're gonna help someone with their why, okay? If you haven't formed your why, don't expect the person that you sign up to understand how to be passionate about their business because you haven't done that yet. So um, that's another one. Um, here, I'll show you, in fact, some of the ones. Hold on. I have um, some of my favorite books over here. Oh, that's me. Oh, I'm go real quick. It's in the bedroom. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Just turn your... I'll mute you. Okay, sorry. Tony's like right over here. So I have lots and lots of books. If you want to borrow a book, by the way, just let me know. If I'm not reading it, I'd be glad to share with you. Um, so... 
before I get into like all my different books, I wanted to invite you folks to join me tomorrow. Say tomorrow. Tomorrow. I posted, I think, last week because I found out last week. But tomorrow, you see this book right here, Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. Okay. Um, this author, Girl, Wash Your Face, she recorded, um, how do I explain it? She like recorded to, like about her book. And it's going to be in movie theater. So it was already in the movie theater the other week. And tomorrow is another showing. So come with me. I'm going to drag my husband. <laughs> but come with me. It's at the, uh, I believe the Dole, I think it was Dole Cannery. I, I'm going to go check my post on Team Relentless. But it's at 7.30, I believe. I'm going to check. But um, it's going to be this right here. Girl, wash your face. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This book. Woo. Get ready to really dig deep and like, whoa, I got some things to work on. I got to wash my face and, you know, wake up, wake up. <laughs> so anyway, it's tomorrow. Um, I think the movie costed like $15. I honestly um, don't know anything much more about it than I saw it on Facebook. Um, and Andrea Shapiro, who is our new um, national executive she posted that um, she went to it on the first showing this is the second showing tomorrow so if you want to join me come we're gonna go see the movies um, again it's called girl wash your face so I didn't get through this whole book but it's pretty amazing I can't wait to get through it what I have been focusing on this week was this book okay Eric Worry GoPro um, you can get it free from the link and you can also get the audio but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post I'm really, I'm, I think I gave you folks enough time to go and order it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to post in there um, an incentive because I love incentives. So I'm going to post an incentive to join my personal development journey because I want you folks to be on your personal development journey. I'm going to post in there who is serious about going to the next level and succeeding at your Color Street business, okay? I guarantee you folks, your life will change when you start putting information from these books into your mind you if you're not a reader then go get the audio of the book but i always tell my team 15 minutes a day of reading keeps the poverty away 50 minutes a day keeps the poverty away i don't know about you but i want to leave poverty behind leave debt behind be financial free i want to leave my poverty way far away so what do I have to do? I have to get information like this into my mind, into my subconscious, into my daily activity until it comes out from my mouth, out from my actions, okay? Um, so personal development, all the speakers, you will hear it over and over and over, even at convention, over and over and over. You know, we keep talking about this homeless stylist that built her business and she has like six, over 6,000 in her organization right now for Color Street. She mentioned in her speech as well, too, she said, I had to change me. I had to improve me. I was on a journey of personal development. I read books. And even like when she was speaking, I could hear kind of like um, some speaker's um, attitude and, you know, presentation come out in her voice. I was like, hey, that sounds familiar. I've heard somebody talk like that before, you know, the things that was coming out. I was like, wow, you know, she must, she must tap into like Eric Worre and all the um, videos that he puts out as well too. But she even said it, personal development, another speaker, personal development, another speaker, personal development. What is personal development? Developing the person in you, the, the gifts and talents that you have and, and fine tuning it, tweaking it a little bit, getting better at certain things, using it towards your color street business, use it for your life. Just because you're, on this personal development journey, it doesn't mean that you're just going to have a better business. Uh-uh. You're going to be a better person all around. You are going to attract more people. You are going to be more friendly. If you're not already, you're going to be a more positive person. If you don't already have a better outlook on life, you're going to have a better outlook on life. Why? Because you're developing yourself to be the best version of you. But you need a little help, just like I need a little help. And so that's where we get our information from books like this. We need to tap into positive mental attitude books, PMA books, I, I used to call it. Um, or if you go into like a book store, it's in the personal development sections. Here's another one. Oh my gosh, you can see how beat up this book is. I've had this for 20 years now. 
I love to go back to this book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. You folks want to know how I'm so friendly when I'm out and about or how I can just like spark conversation with a random person. I, in this book, there's chapter, oh my gosh, I love this book. In, in this book, there's chapters like, if you want to gather honey, don't kick over the beehive. The big secret of dealing with people. He who can do this has a whole world with him. He who cannot walks a lonely way. You guys, am I intriguing you with these titles? Do this and you'll be welcome anywhere. A simple way to make a good first impression. If you don't do this, you are headed for trouble. I mean, you folks. Dale Carnegie, you cannot go wrong with Dale Carnegie. He is my mentor. He is someone that has touched my life over and over and over through his books, How to Win, Win Friends and Influence People. This was like over 20 years ago, and it has a little sticker here. It says, over 15 million copies sold. Oh, my gosh. I, can only, hum, I only can guess how many have sold as of today. Okay, so how to win friends and influence people. My very um, recent favorite, favorite book is called The Go-Giver by Bob Berg. I will talk about this over and over. There's an audio too if you don't, um, I, I sometimes, I read the book, but sometimes I just listen to it while I'm doing my work. You know, there's an audio on it and I just listen. Oh my gosh, yes. In this book, it talks about being a go-giver. We're not in the... We're not in the mindset of giving to get, okay? That's, that does not work. That does not help you become successful. I'll just kind of throw this out to you because um, this is in the form of a story. So you're going to meet the main character. And through the main character, he's going to go through some experiences. Um, here, you'll learn what is the five stratospheric, I mean, the five laws of stratospheric success. You guys want to be successful? Pick up a book. Pick up this book. This is an easy read. Oh my gosh, you will not be able to put it down. Like I said, if you want to borrow my books, just say, hey, Shell, do you think we could get together? I really want to read that Go Giver. Or Shell, do you think we could get together? I cannot wait to get how to influence, um, how to win friends and influence people to come in through the mail. I want to read it now. Okay, let me know. Um, I do have, um, you can borrow these books if I'm not reading it. Okay, for example, The Law of Value. Your true worth is de determined by how much more you give in value than you take in payment. Are you giving more in value or are you expecting, give me, give me, give me, give me? Okay. Be a goal giver. You're giving not to get. You're giving because you want to give. You don't expect something in return. The law of compensation. Your income is determined by how many people you serve and how well you serve them. You're all going to get paid big uka buka do dollars, right, one day? But it's on how many people you serve. How many people are you sponsoring? Are you taking get care of those people? Or are you just expecting the system and, you know, all the Facebook groups and, you know, the, the weekly um, Color Street home office calls to take care of them? No. Serve your, serve your team. Serve your customers. The law of influence. Your influence is determined by how abundantly you place other people's interests first. This one's hard for people. Like, oh my gosh, I think about myself, myself, myself. Uh-uh, no, you can't do that no more. Mm -mm. In order to be successful, it says here, you have to place other people's interests first. So let's say, for example, um, you know, you're out and about and your team all of a sudden says, hey, I have a question. Do you have a moment to help me? help them. Say, so, yeah, you know what? Let me look at my schedule. Okay. Yeah. I, I have some time here. Do you think we could jump on a zoom call or a phone call um, or get together or whatever it might be? Learn to put their interests first. Okay. When you start to build a team, which I want all of you to experience the joys of helping a team member, like have that light bulb go off and go like, wow, I get it. Or see their fire just start to like burn bright and go, oh my gosh, I'm so fired up. You know, like you folks, I know you, you guys don't, um, you guys don't know, because of course I don't always, I don't want to share everybody's stories, but I don't think you guys get sometimes how I 
you get the benefit of hearing how excited you folks are or how excited you are to set up your nail bar or how excited you are when your first team member um, signs up or how excited and fired up you were when you you rank advanced like i get to see that and i want you to experience that i want you to have a team that goes through all the hoops and hurdles and when they finally reach their goal and they accomplish it you're right there to celebrate with them you're right there to high five cheer them all woohoo you know you're right there but you have to learn to serve others okay um and you have to put their interests first the law of authenticity the most valuable gift you have to offer is yourself be in the moment give yourself give the best you to people whether it's your customer when you're when i bump into my customers like randomly my attention is on that customer. My attention is on how is your day? I don't ask the question just to ask the question. I really want to know how was your day? How was your week? Talk to me. How have you been? I haven't seen you for a long time. You haven't shopped with me for a while. Are you okay? Is the family good? I saw that you went on a trip. How was your trip? You want to make sure that you are authentic. Don't be fake. People can read fake. They don't like fake. They might put up with fake, but they don't like it. So don't be fake. You wanna have, you wanna be authentic, okay? And give of yourself. Let people see who you are. I know some of you jump on my Facebook lives. I'm pretty crazy on my lives. Why? Because I'm pretty crazy in, in person, and I'm I'm just learning to have fun with life. You know, my motto is YOLO. You only live once. Enjoy life. You guys, I have issues. I have things that happen in my life that you know I'm not so happy about or I'm not at a place in this area of my life that I want to be but you know what don't get down on yourself right appreciate where you're at and appreciate where you're headed because when you're on this personal development you're gonna get to your goals you're gonna reach and fulfill your visions okay um the law of um risk I always have the hard time saying this one receptivity receptivity <laughs> The key to effective giving is to say, stay open to receiving. When someone gifts you something, say thank you. Don't go, oh, you shouldn't have to. No, don't do that. Just say thank you. I appreciate you. You know, when um, my customer blesses me, oh, like this shirt right here. Oh, my gosh, I got to show you this shirt, okay? It's a pineapple shirt. Do you see my shirt? It's kind of hard to see. It's a pineapple shirt. My friend, my dear friend gave this to me when she saw this in Waikiki, and she thought of me. She goes, when I saw this shirt, I thought of you. I was like, oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, you know I love pineapples and you were on a little staycation. You thought of buying me a gift. I'm so thankful, so grateful. And I'm wearing it so proudly because I love this shirt. I'm so thankful and so grateful. In fact, it's um, Joy, my uh, personal assistant in this team page. Um, but you have to, you have to appreciate, okay? Um, you know, when, when people show um, gratitude and they show that they're very thankful don't minimize that and say oh you shouldn't have to or if they compliment you and say oh my gosh you look so gorgeous today they go oh my gosh no i didn't have enough sleep last night stop doing that just say thank you just say thank you everybody just say thank you right now thank you mita on here Ooh, Ilani, karina you folks are amazing and you're gonna say thank you just thank you. You don't have to tell me, oh my gosh, I had a horrible day. No, I'm not amazing. No, 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 no. Stop doing that. Okay. Because it said in that book, the go giver. Okay. So that's another one. Here's another one, you guys. When I first started my uh, first direct sell um, two years ago, well, not my first, but when I got back into direct sell, um, they, kept, they kept talking about your why. Like, what why? <laughs> why what? <laughs> So I had to go get this book. It's by Simon Sinek. Um, start with why. How great leaders inspire everyone to take action. Powerful, powerful book here. Okay. Um, and then I wanted to, <laughs> you guys are going to love this one. Look at this title. You are a bad ASS. Sorry, I can't say it. You are a bad ASS by Jane Sincero. <laughs> I got this title and I was like, oh, should I put a cover on it? Because everybody's going to be like, what the heck is she reading? You guys, amazing book. It'll kick your butt in a good way. You are a bad ASS. How to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. If that title doesn't grab you, like, 
I need to like go over there and like say, what? <laughs> Number one bestseller. It's called You Are a Bad ASS. This one is powerful. This one goes into a lot more of like, you know, when you get compliments and, you know, say thank you. Just say thank you. And then I'll just share another one. Um, this one, it looks like it's a very thick book, but it's, I, I didn't read it like patient. I kind of jumped around because this is the one that talks about the four lenses and it talks about the different colors of a personality. Um, a deeper understanding of temperament values. Understanding anyone in the world, motivate reluctant people, communicate with power, succeed in your occupation, strengthen leadership abilities, reduce stress and conflict, parent complicated children, right? Some of us need that. Guide troublesome teenagers, teach difficult learners, and create sensational re relationships. Basically, it's understanding what lens you see the world, and then the people that are in your life, what lens are they seeing from? And then you learn to communicate to um, that person and that personality because we all have different personalities um and we all need we can switch gears and communicate in a way that that person can receive information better and that's because just like how i have glasses on we all see through a different color lens um i kind of posted it the other day um and i say what color are you and i think some of you were like red and blue and yeah you had all your different colors um that's how we see through we see through a, a color lens and um, that's because we all have a different personality. That's because we um, receive information differently. And so we need to be uh, communicators to people of all different colors, okay? So red people can communicate to the blue people and so forth, okay? Um, so that, that's, that's what this really thick book is, really good stuff. Like for me, I skipped to the chapter on like, um, yeah, I'll kind of, I'll kind of, uh, skip to like this one, for example. Okay, this one has um, different colors. This one's called the gold. The gold sells people. Check this out. If you're if you're gold, gold people are company oriented. They sell the company first. They're well prepared and organized. They're professional and focused. Pride themselves on punctuality. Detailed and exact. Demonstrate dependability and reliable. Green sells people. They're product oriented, they, they sell solution to problems, they sell the product first, they're knowledgeable and competent, they like new and innovative products, they're good with technical details, talk about ideas and possibilities, are logical and practical. Okay, and then there's all the different colors. So it kind of shares with you, like where are you? What color are you seeing through? Because sometimes if you can determine what color you're seeing through, what color lens you're seeing through, you'll understand why sometimes you have a hard time communicating with like, someone that's um, a blue, okay, or someone that's a green. Um, that we'll get into, but it's, oh my gosh, when you can start um, communicating to different um, people in different colors, it's so powerful. For example, you can have a large organization, but because you've become a great communicator, you can deliver a message that anybody can receive. Your, your teaching and your message can be received by all different colors of the lens, okay? Um, so that's what I wanted to share you folks. I'm so fired up. Now is the time to build Color Street. Please, you're in the business right now. You're in Team Relentless. You were not chosen to be in Team Relentless by mistake. I hope you know that. I hope you figured out that I'm in this team for a reason, for a purpose, and you're in this business for a reason and a purpose. You signed up. You signed up on that link to be a Color Street stylist for whatever reason at the time. Today, it's August 12th, and I am going to remind you, hold on one sec, I'm gonna, I gotta get this for you folks. I love doing this when I'm with you folks. Okay, now you're gonna have to um, touch your screen like you're touching the screen here. But I want all of you, touch your screen and press that reset button. Just press that reset button, press it. Reset your business, reset your business. Today is August 12th, reset your business. Yesterday is gone, today is a new day. Reset your business, reset your goals, reset your attitude towards your business, reset where you're headed with this business. Just keep tapping, yes, look at Karina. You guys, reset your business, reset your goals, reset your attitude towards color street. Reset, press the reset button. If you, if you have to go buy a reset button, like just do it. My husband's like, what? you buy that i was like because i need a bucket to hit 
Monday morning when I'm not feeling it, I'm gonna reset my button because why? I'm gonna build my color sheet business today. This is my time. This is your time. Don't miss it. This is the best time to be in color sheet. I'm gonna tell you that over and over and over. This is the best time to be in color sheet. Why? Because this day will never come again because tomorrow will be another day that color sheet has been in existence. June 12th, we celebrated one year that Color Street was in existence as a direct sale company. Today is only August 12th, one year later. Oh my gosh, you guys, like that should like right there go like, wow. Never again will Color Street be this young. When I'm in Color Street 10 years from now, I will look back to August 12th and say, wow, I remember when my Team Relentless team was 42 members. You're going to look back at your business and go, I remember being in it for only a few months. I remember just signing up last week. I remember this and this and this. It's going to be a great memory for those of you that build your business now and get to the top. There's room at the top. I cannot stress that enough. There's so much room at the top in Color Street. And all it takes is you being you, learning how to be the best version of you by learning how to read books, listen to audio, maybe grab some videos from YouTube, learning how to be better, learning how to be a better, uh, maybe you need to learn how to be a better communicator. Maybe you need to learn how to be a better friend. Whatever it might be, you need to be on that personal development because when you're on that personal development journey, it will, it will pop out at you like, oh my gosh, I'm lacking in this area. Well, that's good that you know. Why? Because then you can be on the journey to learn more about that. Okay, whatever it might be, I cannot say because everybody on this team is at a different place in life. Some of you, have, Kate, you, you started, you got ready to go right out the gate. You were ready to go. Oh my gosh, you were trying to beat the box and do your 300 PV right after day one of signing up. Some of you had to check it out a little. Like, hmm, is this for real? Can I make money? Will this work for me? Some of you had to be on that journey for a little while. Some of you are like, hmm, okay, I didn't do anything yet, but I'm fired up today. I'm excited today. I pressed the reset button today. I'm ready. August 12th is my day to say, I'm ready, Shell. Today, I'm excited. I'm going to be successful at Color Street. That's what my whole talk tonight was about. How will you succeed? How will I succeed? I want to succeed. If you tuned in and you're watching the replay, you want to succeed at Color Street. Let's do this together. This is a journey that we're going to do together. I'm with you. I am not going anywhere without taking you with me. If you want to be on this journey with me, let's do it together. Let's, let's be better people. Let's learn. Let's be on this personal development journey together. Let's learn to reach out to people and be their friend. Let's be on that journey to make lots and lots of friends. But let's be on this journey to celebrate each other, to celebrate each other's accomplishments, to celebrate each other's, um, you know, going from this rank to this rank. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate getting better at um, being a better friend or being in, being, learning how to be in the moment. Maybe some of us need to learn how to do that. But let's grow together. Let's learn together because I'm all about being together with a team. I'm not going to do this solo. I'm not doing this business solo. No, I want all of us to rise together. I want all of us to succeed. I want to see all of you on that cruise because it is possible. But it takes you resetting yourself and saying, you know what? I'm going to get this done. Because what I did today was not like superstar work. Uh-uh. I did not do anything like that. All I did was go to Target and Fisher and I had my samples. I had my business card. Oh, in fact, I have it right here. I have my business card with my toosie on the back. You guys got to have it ready to like flip out of your bag. Like you can't be putting it together in front of your customers or I mean, or your waitress or whatever. I had my samples. I gave it away this weekend. I gave a lot of samples this weekend. Look, my bag is almost empty. I got to go put, I got to go put so get together some more, but I had my Samples ready to go. Here, this is a sample. This is how you put it on. If I had time, I, I actually did put it on a person. But, you know, when they're working, you kind of have to be careful because they might be on camera or they, you know, you, we don't want them to get fired. So you have to kind of give it to them and get their phone number and follow up later. But I had my samples ready. And all I did was have a little conversation with a friend that I bumped into. 
gave a sample for the other friend. I said, yep, let's get together. And we kind of scheduled a get together for me to sit down and help her with her nails because I know when she falls in love with it she has her own sphere of influence and her friends and her family she's going to be bragging about color street and it's all going to come back to me because I'm going to be her stylist I'm going to be her color street gal okay so you have to be ready to get out there with your business it doesn't have to be complicated be very very simple you don't have to put it in these fancy bags put it in a clear bag you know whatever it might be um, you can get those organza bags. Like these are what you call organza bags. You can get these from Amazon if you like these bags better. Whatever it is, get a sample in people's hands. Send it to them. Put it in the mail. Um, I did it a couple times this weekend. I talked to people. <clears throat> there were people that asked me about my business. I was able to share the business opportunity with them. They were like, you know, how's your business? I said, well, it's amazing. You know, and they kind of shared, oh my gosh, for $129, I tapped into like this nail salon quality product that everybody is loving, you know, and you have your own thing to share in your conversation. I didn't do superstar stuff, but you know what? I did something every single day. That's another thing that, um, what am I, I'm like number four, I think. Treat your business like a business. And I'm going to end with that point. Treat your business like it's a business. If you had to open, you know, turn on the neon open sign, <clears throat> open up the doors, get the lights on to your business, would your business be open today? Was your business open today? It's a Sunday for me, you know, family day, church, et cetera, et cetera. But my business was open. Why? When I went to the store. I handed out a sample. Um, I had my bag ready to sell if anybody wanted to buy from me today. I didn't sit out today because, you know, normally it's a family day. I didn't sit out today to do a whole lot of color sheet, but I fit it into my schedule. Why? Because I treat my business like a business. I'm always open. I'm always on. Okay. So for you, how are you treating your business? Are you going to tomorrow, Monday, set your goals for the week? Set goals of how many um, color street samples you're sending out, how many calls you're going to make to set up nail bars. Are you going to treat your business like a business? Do the small steps and it'll get into such a good routine and a good flow that it'll be easier to give out a sample, to have a conversation, to get on the phone and ask someone to have a nail bar. Okay. Um, so treat your business like a business. I'm so fired up. I'm so thankful and so grateful that you're on Team Relentless. You're in the best team ever. We are going to rise together and we're going to do it fast and furious. You guys, I'm not going to miss Presidential Circle because when December 31st comes, <clears throat> Shells is going to be a senior executive in the Presidential Circle. What's your goal? I just gave you my goal. I said it out there. I put it out into the world, into the Team Relentless Zoom world. And I confessed it before you. Confess to me what is your goal. If it's, if it's just to be senior stylist or team leader or director, what is it? Is it to go on the cruise? If it's to go on the cruise, you need to be confessing director in December. Director in December. That's how you're going to get to the cruise. Director in December. I'm confessing that too. But for the year goal, it's senior executive presidential circle. Shells is going to be welcomed into the presidential circle. I want that 1% monthly. I want that monthly bonus, that 1% of the monthly GV of Color Street, the company. Whatever your goal is, you need to start speaking that. Every morning when you wake up, like, I, like we did earlier, I love my business. I love my business. I'm going to do my best today. I'm going to be the best version of Michelle. I'm going to be the best version, and you put your name in there. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to say, okay, these are my goals. What am I going to do today? Uh, if I want to be director in December or senior executive in December, you have to confess it and you have to do something for your business. Do something, send out samples tomorrow, get on the phone and call that friend that you've been thinking about that you wanted to talk about the color sheet business opportunity. Don't put it off get it done. We are going to build this business and I don't want you to miss out on the opportunity because 2018 is going to be a phenomenal year in Color Street. Mark my words because people are fired up. After convention, people were ready to buckle down and get busy. They made commitments. They made um, 
you know, they profess what they wanted in Color Street and it happened at convention. Even if you weren't there, you felt like you were there. Why? Because if you listen to any videos or if you listen um, to any of the posting that people were posting or even I posted in Team Relentless, you kind of felt like you were there. And that's all it takes. That's all it takes to get into the, 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 mo the mode of like, wow. I'm not missing it next year. I'm going to be sitting on that table with them. I'm going to be on that stage next year speaking about how I went from this and now today I'm that. Okay. That's what I want you to do. So I'm going to um, end the recording with just this. I want all of you, including myself. Okay. Cause I got to do this closing my eye. I want you to go on a visual. Um, there's like a term for this is like visualization, um, you're gonna close your eyes and I'm gonna walk you through just thinking through thoughts. And I want you to feel a certain emotion that whatever happens when I'm saying it, you'll just experience. But you have to do this by closing your eyes and actually listening to my voice walking you through this, okay? So I'm still recording, but you folks are gonna hopefully do this um, even on the replay, okay? So close your eyes right now. Just take a deep breath. <sighs> You know, breathe in, breathe out. This is an excellent, excellent, excellent um, thing to do every morning. Just take a moment. You know, some people call it meditating. Some people call it breathing exercises. Some might call it praying, whatever it is. Just take a moment, especially in the beginning of your day, and just breathe in and breathe out. We have to learn to take care of ourselves. You have to love you. In order to be successful in color street, you've got to be in tune with who you are. Get to know yourself again. Introduce yourself to yourself. Seychelle, you are fired up today. <laughs> Whatever it might be, <laughs> talk to yourself. You know, because I can tell you this much, I was not this person I, that I am today. I was not this person my whole life. I was not. Take another deep breath in and breathe out. Sometimes I think we take that breath of life for granted and we forget that it was a privilege to have that breath. I can guarantee you this much. The person that lost a loved one recently, they know the value of that breath. So take another breath in, hold it, and let it out. You really can feel that breath if you really wanted to. You can feel it, you can feel it filling up your lungs. You can feel your diaphragm just tightening up. And then when you release it, that just comes all out. It's so important to be in tune with yourself. You have to learn to do this more often. To just let your thoughts be your thoughts. Let your mind think. Be creative. So I'm going to take you on a visual journey. So close. keep your eyes closed. I, I've got my eyes closed. I'm not doing anything funny or weird. I'm going to think through what I'm going to share with you as well too. So be on this journey with me. Think back to the day that you signed up in Color Street. Your sponsor sent you the link. You jumped on your phone, your iPad, your computer, whatever you could get a hold of because you wanted to sign up for Color Street. You knew there was something, just something about that business. We call it that business at the time. Something about that business that I'm so curious about, I'm so excited about. I just got to sign up. I'm, I'm going to gather my $129, however I need to. I'm going to do this. I'm going to sign up. You filled out your first name, your last name, your social security number, your checking information, your address, all of that. You signed the page. You had to click all those boxes to sign up. You're agreeing to become a Color Street stylist. You are going to be in business. An entrepreneur, the CEO, the boss of your own company. That's what you signed up to be. After you signed the link, it's like, wow, okay, what am I going to do now? Well, you knew that something was going to happen. Something changed. And what changed was you now had a stylist number. You became an official Color Street stylist. 
you had a back office, a website, www.mycolorstreet.com slash and your number. Wow, you're now a Color Street stylist. I hope you can remember that day forever and ever and ever and ever. I do. I remember. I remember the day I signed up, December 2017. <sighs> December 26, what an exciting day. So excited to be on this journey. But I knew there was a lot to learn. I knew there was ways to make money, but I didn't all the details. I knew that it was new, that not a whole lot of people were doing it. I didn't know how many people in my state was doing it. All these thoughts were going through my mind. Oh my gosh, what do I have a hold of? What did I do? And then your kit came in, your black color street box. I'll never forget that box when it came in. I was so fired up. I was running to the mailman. I was waiting for the mailman because it said it was supposed to arrive. And I opened that box so, so very excited. In fact, I'm tearing now because it was such an exciting day. I was so excited for that kit to come in. I wanted to see what sets I was going to get. I wanted to see that nice black bag and all the, um, my own, you know, nail files and my prep pads and the color street um, catalogs, all of that. I wanted to open up my box. So excited. I opened up my box and it was a lot of stuff <laughs> for $129. Got a lot of stuff. And I knew I didn't know what to do with everything, but I knew it was going to be okay because I had a sponsor. I knew I had an upline. I knew I had resources. I knew I had a company that would support me. And I was on my journey. I started as a color street stylist. So did you. I hope you can picture that day. I hope you never forget the excitement that you felt when you opened up your kit and, op and wanted to see what sets you had, which one you were going to choose for yourself, which one was going to be your first set to use for your nails. I remember mine. Mine was Brooklyn Beat. <laughs> Still love that set. And then now you're maybe one month into it, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, seven months. Maybe you're like me, eight months into this. And you're getting it. You're really understanding the compensation plan. You're understanding the time commitment that it's going to take to be successful in Color Street. You've realized that you're part of a team that is growing, that is a big family, a team that wants you to succeed, an upland that wants you to succeed. You have lifelines all the time for, for questions to be answered, creative ideas that you might have that you want to run through uh, for feedback, whatever it might be. Today, August 12th, Sunday, August 12th is a brand new day in your color street business. You reset your business, your, you reset that button. Now what? Now what am I going to do? Well, Michelle just fired up my gears again and got me oiled up again. I'm gonna do this. I am going to do this. I'm gonna be director in December. I'm going on a cruise. Everybody, I'm going on a cruise. I'm going on a cruise that color street's gonna pay for. Whatever your goals are, set your goals. Let it burn in your heart and your mind and dream big again. Dream again. Go through the, the uh, whole experience of getting on that cruise. The whole experience of saying, family, I'll see you in a little while. I'm going on a cruise. I'll be back. Be excited. Have a plan. we got to have a plan. How do I get to director in December? Get out that organization tree and start filling it. Start doing the day-to-day -day activities that it takes. Give out your samples. Have your sets ready to sell whenever you come in contact with people. Pick up the phone and ask someone to host a nail bar. Pick up the phone and share how easy and simple this business can be. For $129, they can join Color Street and be on your team. The best team ever. You're the best sponsor ever. 
I hope you can picture yourself there. And if not, you need to do this again and again and again until you see yourself, your face, smiling, excited, fired up for Color Street, your business. The business, you're the CEO, you're the boss, you're the commander. You are running this ship. You are making the income you're making because of your efforts. Because you gave back. You were a go-giver. You knew what your why was. And you knew you could do this. You were unashamed to be a color street stylist and to be in business. So on the count of three, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes. And you're going to open your eyes to the reality of this is it. Now I get to go to the next level. I get to go to the next place that I need to be in. Wherever that might be in my business, I'm going to take that next step. Shell is holding my hand. My sponsor is holding my hand. My upline members are holding my hand. I've got a support team. I'm not alone in this. I'm never alone building this business. There's always a friend. There's always someone to reach up to. And I'm going to make it. I'm going to be director in December. I'm going to be on that cruise. I'm going to get the exclusive best show nails. I'm going to get five of them because I'm going to be cute in August and September. I'm going to shoot for my goals. I'm going to do the work. I'm going to get to work. Say in your mind, get to work. Work your business, everybody. Work your business. Do your best in whatever job you still have right now, but work your business now. So on the count of three, just open your eyes. One, two, three. Open your eyes. I have to get a tissue. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I have to get a tissue because I'm so, so grateful for, for Color Street. I'm so grateful for this business. I'm so grateful to be your team leader, soon to be director. I'm just so grateful. When you can wake up like me and be so thankful for Color Street, for an opportunity that, you know, sky's the limit. Oh man, that just should flood you with like emotion and gratefulness and just like this sense of like, wow, I've got some power <laughs> behind me because I have a company, a vehicle that is strong and growing and has a wonderful, strong, wise owner and team of wise people that are running this business and keeping it growing and growing, getting better and better for us. I, I hope you can wake up to that sense of, I understand what I have a hold of. I know what that gift is. I've got to share that gift. I've got to get out there and tell people about what I do. I got to tell people I'm a color street stylist. I got to. If I don't, somebody else will. Somebody else will. I promise you that. Why? Because other people will get it because they're on their own journey and they get it. You have to know who you are, and what you want in this business. So I hope this helps you today because I am going to tell you from today on, my level and the things that I expect of myself, the, the level of passion that I have, the, the way I see myself in this business, it all changes. It changes as of today. I am so fired up about this business. If you come anywhere near me, <laughs> don't worry you're gonna be fired up too and that's just how it's gonna be I'm not gonna back down I'm gonna be more um, passionate about this business I'm gonna be more of a go-giver a go-getter a hustler whatever you want to call it but I'm gonna do it why because I know for me that that's where I want to be I want to be at the top of this company not to be, have bragging rights or anything, but I've got a big why. I've got a big dream to fulfill. Some of you forgot how to dream. Dream big. Get out travel magazines again. Where have you always wanted to travel? I always wanted to go on a cruise. I'm going on a cruise. D director in December. I'm going on a cruise. Some of you have dream homes. Oh my gosh, I can't wait 
to show you my dream home. That's going to be my address one day. You got to dream again. Your dream car. Oh my gosh, I saw a G wagon, a Mercedes G wagon at the dealership. That's my car. I'll take you, I'll take you for a ride in my G wagon one day. Not today, but one day. You got to dream. Allow yourself to dream. Maybe some of you have small dreams and it's okay. You're still dreaming. Maybe you have a dream to like pay your cell phone bill, pay your electric bill, pay your cell phone bill. Maybe that's your dream. Fulfill your dream. Have dreams that are with you along the way that you can say, oh, I fulfilled that dream. I filled that dream. I filled that dream. And then when you accomplish a big, big one, your big dream house, your big dream car, your lifestyle that you're dreaming of having, you will appreciate the journey and you'll appreciate reaching that goal because you deserve it. You will deserve it. When you're driving behind the wheel of your dream car, you will feel like you deserved it because you put in the work. You deserved it. You went to the car dealership and yes, I'm here to buy this car. Or you, you signed up to pay the realtor, whatever it might be. <laughs> Dream again, you guys. Sorry about that. Um, that was my message. I, I hope I didn't scare anybody. <laughs> or I hope you're still with me. But I just wanted you to hear my heart. I want you to know who I am as a person. I want to be transparent transparent with you i want you to to see that i'm for real like i'm not just telling you guys to do stuff just to do stuff i'm doing it too i need to change a lot of things in my life i need to fine tune the way i talk the way i feel the way i look at things i have to fine tune a lot of things but i'm not gonna let the past dictate anything because today i press the reset button today is brand new tomorrow is brand new it'll never come again do what you can with the time that you have, the life that you have, the breath that you have. Use it and go where you want to go. If color street is your thing, if, in, if to you, color street is your chance to fulfill dreams, to, to get the lifestyle that you want, to be debt free, whatever your why is, whatever your financial freedom is, whatever your freedom is, you know, you want to be free of something. If color street is it for you, jump on this personal development journey that we're on. Get in the marathon race with me, with our upline. We're all going places. We're all fired up. And we're only going to learn and grow into better business owners by going through the journey, by getting into the University of Color Street and learning all about running your own business. Okay, so I'm going to stop the recording and then I'm going to check your questions. For those of you watching the replay, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you have any questions or concerns of what I just shared, please reach out to me. Um, I just wanted to just share my heart today where I'm at and where I want this team to go and that I'm very committed to you as a team, um, an upline team member or right now team leader. I'm here for you. Okay. I know you have a sponsor for those of you that are, have other sponsors, but I'm here for you. Reach up if you need some help. You have to let me know where you're at and what you need. Okay. So I'm going to end the, um, the recording.